Good morning all and welcome to the final session of the Coaches Media Interaction. Um, this morning we have the coaches of Jamaica Scorpions and Trampago Red Force, Mr. Andre Coley and Mr. David Fulong. Uh, you will have 15 to 20 minutes with gentlemen because obviously they have busy days, traveling, practice, etc. Um, so without further ado, please put your hands up and we shall go in chronological order. Obviously this um, interaction will be recorded and issued at the end of it, along with the two that were done previously. So please raise your hands and we shall start. Go ahead, Lennox. Uh, blessings, coach. Um, blessings to you, too. Morning. Yeah, man, morning. All right, coach. Um, the, the third round starts um, next week, and obviously, you your team have to play catch up for this round. But you have brought in some reinforcements, so to speak. How do you expect the, the team to perform now? Um, yes, yeah, we are we are at the bottom. Obviously, having lost our first two games um, for the third round match, London King is available um, and will come in uh, into the squad. Um, and Maldine Thomas uh, makes a return uh, to the keeping position. Right, right. And in terms of the brand of cricket, you want the team start playing now from this round onwards. What would you say? What you say would have changed between the previous two rounds and, and this start of this third round now? I believe everybody appreciated the fact that um, we underperformed um, for the two rounds. Um, you know, the, the way we played um, towards the back end in Trinidad, we were able to. Um, you know, defend or almost defend a, a, a small total. And then in Barbados, when we basically um, were on, on track in first innings to, to put on our post, a challenging total or a more challenging total, um, we want more, looking for more consistency around that, um, especially for more batting. Um, our bowlers had a fair amount of work to do. Uh, the batting, um, you know, quite a few starts from our batsmen. So the key and, and what we want to focus on is, is going deeper. So not only getting that start, but um, transferring and uh, translating that into bigger scores, bigger team partnerships, and actually spending time. Um, you know, we are, we are a team that scores, if you look at our record over the years and even the first two games, um, our run rate has, has always been healthy. Really, just know about batting time and accepting personal responsibility. And uh, from a batting standpoint, um, you know, having more significant partnerships uh, right throughout. Right, right, right. Well, just one more from me, Nasif. Um, you, you are playing the Winwards, a team that you're very familiar with yourself and the assistant coach Richardson. Uh, you think that that knowledge um, will will help um, as you go up against this team? Um, it, it, there's no doubt that having that knowledge will be helpful uh, from both sides. I mean, and, Andrew most recently, and me from a couple of years ago, and obviously we would have um, seen the guys play a couple of rounds. Um, I think the key here is, 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 is being able to use that knowledge to simplify things. Um, and that is what is going to be important. Sometimes too much information and too much knowledge um, can be paralyzing. Um, so we really just need to be, make sure that we prioritize what information is going to be most useful to us in terms of helping our campaign? All right, coach, all the best, man. Right, thank you. Thanks, Lennox. Um, anyone else that's up next? Oh, yeah, go ahead, Sanjay. Good morning, good morning, all. Good morning, coach. Good mo morning, Sanjay. Yeah, I. Just a bit, um, you mentioned Alden Thomas coming in. Um, clearly, he's regarded as the best glove man in the country. Um, but the batting was maybe the main reason he didn't play in those first two games. Um, what are your thoughts about 
what you expect from him coming in right now? Um, clarity, clarity from him and, and um, a belief in his abilities. Um, you know, prior, prior to the first two rounds, there was a lot of cricket being played in the country, so we had actually opened it up, opened it up to a wider pool, I played a couple of trial matches, um, and we had said straight away that, um, you know, all three keepers involved were, were pretty good in the games. And it was basically going to be a shootout amongst them to say, listen, in all these games, we're going to give a nod to uh, actually show those applications and score more shots. Um, and that's obviously why um, Morris got the nod. Um, during this, the first two rounds, Morris struggled in front of the wicket. Um, and the co confidence was really low. Um, you know, he wasn't able to transfer that, um, that confidence from here to there. Um, and that's a very crucial position as well. Um, you know, having confidence in front of the wicket and behind the wicket is also very crucial. So, so we decided to go with someone obviously more experienced, um, a very good glove man, as you said, um, but he seems to be coming into his own around his batting. So we decided to, to, to go that route. Another one, if possible. Go ahead. Okay, uh, the, the batting overall, um, Barbados first innings comes to mind. I mean, Jamaica first innings against Barbados. Uh, yeah. ho, ho, what can you do to, to try and, and not have a repeat of that? I think in terms, in terms of what happened there, um, in one word is really complacency. So it is really to make sure that as a team, um, we are not taking anything for granted and our standards and our expectations are higher um, and not be easily satisfied. So having worked that first day uh, and did really well against um, a decent pulling combination, um, you know, we needed to come the next day and show a similar, if not greater application um, and focus, which um, we were unable to. So obviously being 300 for three and then making less than 350. Um, although you'd have posted 350 on the board, the momentum straight away would have shifted back to Barbados. Right, so it's really about managing the momentum shifts within the game, uh, more specifically around that person of the hour. I'm not sure you answered your question, you heard of. Yeah, man, I got that. Thank you. All right. Coach Fulong, I have a question for you. Obviously, Trinidad and Tobago sit in second after the first two rounds um, of the tournament. A long time between the first, between the second round and the third round. Um, what have you been doing to keep your guys motivated to keep that momentum going in into the start of the remainder of the tournament? We have been playing plenty cricket here in Trinidad. Um, we've been playing club cricket. Um, we have had practice matches among the Red Force team. So the guys have been playing a lot of cricket. Um, you know, we've been meeting regularly um, and discussing the, the next three rounds. So that's basically you know what we've been doing um, so far. Even the guys are now currently involved in a T20 tournament. It is the final. Um, the two teams in the final, all, all the players who um, are selected for the game coming up are involved in the final. Everybody has been playing cricket. Roger, go ahead. Hi, Coach for Long Morning. Um, just want to get an idea of anything in specific you all have been working on or targeting during practice leading up to the final round of matches. Um, you know, um, in the earlier rounds, you all had a, a poor batting display, but you all still won the, the first game. So, anything that you all have been working on leading into the final three matches? Um, you know, we've been working. We during the break, um, we had a two-week sort of camp, individual with players, individual working um, on their skills and so the batsmen and so. Um, you know, our, our target is to, to score 300 plus runs. If we could get 350 plus runs, um, we believe we have the bowling to defend it. But um, as you said, you know, the batting hasn't been the top four or five batsmen haven't been scoring runs. We hope that with um, Darren Bravo coming in. Today, that will sort of stabilize it. The top four there, and you know, with Joshua the Silver, now with the confidence of the 100 in Test match 
also Akilo Sain, who has been scoring runs regularly um, over here. That you know we, we can boost the batting and, and get the totals that we're looking for um, to bowl out teams twice. And um, well, locally there's been a lot of T10 and T20 and fifth over cricket. And now you're all going to start back to the in four day arena. Um, any concerns about that shift? Are you confident the players can make that that shift? Um, yes, yeah, so, you know, as we have been practicing, we have played um, four day practice matches in between those games. Um, players have been practicing. We we practice what five or six days. In the last two weeks there, um, in between games, um, you know, I've been watching some of the players playing the T20 game and, and they played proper cricket shots. So um, I don't think it's a worry for them adjusting um, from the T20 to the, to the four day coming up there. And also fast bowlers are not playing the competition. So, um, you know, they are sort of training and they are sort of fresh. As I mentioned, the fast bowlers are not training. That is behind Babylon. Basically, uh, on fast bowling points. How important is it for, for those fast bowlers to kind of click in this first game against the Leeward Islands? You know, so two of them will be going off to West Indies afterwards. It is important. Um, I think what happened also in our last game against Windward Islands, um, the two fast bowlers were off the field for the last half of the game with, with some injuries due to the, the run up. Um, so that, you know, the last set of wickets, you know, uh, went to the spinners. But you know, having those three fast bowlers there, you know, I think it's important that we get as many wickets. Um, if they could get five, six, seven wickets at the, at the top there, you know, I think it's important for us with the system now with, with the fast bowling points. Um, yes, Jaden and Jaden and um, Andy will be going off, but I think we have suitable replacements. Um, you know, Putman Mohammed and Terence Hines. Come in, will come in to replace both of them, and, I, and again, both of them have been pulling well. All right, coach, and then both uh, fast one points being as important as they are. Um, we know Trinidad always have good spinners, so how, how do you balance that going to the win with spin versus going with, with baseballers to get those extra fast points? Will that be, you know, how, how do you handle that? Well, you know, I, as I, I told you guys, you know, um, let, let's not concentrate too much on the fast bowling points. If we could win games, um, you know, we 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 can we we we'll negate the, the fast bowling points. You know, once we could win those games, um, win, win them outright, we can negate uh, um, any problem with, with fast bowling points. Um, but again, you know, this is this is something that is uncontrollable. You know, we can't control that, and um, you know, we, we will bowl our bowlers as, as, as we see fit. And just last last question from me, just a word on the fitness of Sean Gabriel. I know he's coming back into the team. He's missed a couple games for West Indies and, and so on. So just a word on his fitness and, and what, what means to the trainer Red for him to be back in the bowling attack. He was working his way back to fitness um, this week here on the Monday. For the first time, he, he went 100% Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday this week. Um, you know, he's even training now, he's even doing spot bowling and so now because of the other players not, not being involved. Um, you know, and actually, you know, some of the senior players in our team have commented, um, you know, that Shannon, Shannon's pace is back. So, you know, I think that will do well for the team. Um, you know, having a genuine fast bowler, you know, on top there. And I know that um, the last that we had with the coaches, some of the coaches complained that he lack of grass and the wickets. So hopefully we have some grass and the wickets now and, and the wickets are hard yeah, due to the um, lack of rain and, and you know we get some some quick wickets for, for him to bowl on. That's coach good luck. Thank you. Coach, how important is this first matchup against Leeward Island? Seeing that we're second on the table, right? And then we play Obviously, tabletop was Barbados in the next round. How vital is it to get a win versus Leeward Islands heading into that game versus Barbados? It's important when you want the momentum going into the game against Barbados. Um, but again, you know, I think it's important. You know, it's, it's a short season; it's only five games. So I think you have to target to win, win as many games as possible if you want to be in a chance to, to win the championship. You know, as um, Jamaica, you know, they, yes, they lost their first two games, but I, I think they played excellent cricket. Um, so, you know, I don't think you can count out anybody right now. Um, Guyana, 
they do so well that they, they won one game, but they were close games. So you know, you never know. Um, but it's, I think it's important that we start off with a win here. Um, I'll try to win. And you know, to, to get the momentum going into the game against Barbados. Okay, thanks, coach. Um, anybody else has any questions? We'll take one, maybe two more questions, and then we'll let the coaches go off. Go ahead, Sanjay. Okay, Coach Cole, uh, Leroy Log, um, what are your thoughts on what you have seen from him so far? And I know he's a bit aggressive. Has, has that has that worked out for you so far? Um, obviously he hasn't got the scores that you want from a top from a opener. Um, he's only played two first class matches, um, but he he played to his natural intent, which is what you want. Um, you don't want he didn't want it. What was good is that he never went into the the start of the tournament thinking that listen, this is a four day, and you know I need to change my game or my style of play. Um, he was brought into the team for a couple of reasons. Obviously, scoring runs at the top of the order in trial matches, and um, his attacking nature is good at the top. Um, how he manages that now and, and how quickly he learns is what is going to be important because his style of play can actually be useful. Um, it can help to shift pressure off bowlers, take advantage of, of um, loose deliveries, but he will, all, he will need to, to learn to temper that um, and, 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 and back deeper. So, um, you know, in con- conversation with the selectors, you know, it was really about continuing to invest uh, in that position where we believe that we, we definitely need to, to invest in some players. Um, so that was the thinking behind it. So he hasn't got the big scores that we're looking for. We are confident that um, he's able to, to, you know, keep it very simple and make sure that he has clarity um, that he should, he, sh- he should start making runs more consistent. Let me just ask another. Uh, the, with how the Scorpions started the season, how important is it to get on track starting with the, the, the Volcanoes? No, it's very important. Um, obviously, at the bottom of the table, you, when you really look at it, the equation is pretty simple. Um, we definitely need to, to win three games to actually claw our way back and end up to end up anywhere within the top three or close to the top three. Um, but you can't do that before winning the first game. Um, so we'll definitely take it one game at a time and make sure that our plans are, are are good. If we are happy that our plans are good going into this game, then it comes down to a matter of execution. So we want to make sure that we're not during the game thinking about our planning or should have done this or should have done that. Hindsight is 2020 for everybody. But we're gonna end it, we're gonna make sure that we try to plan. Uh, so that we can cover all bases and and be, and, be, and be clear in terms of how we want to play. Okay, thank you, coach. All right. All right, thank you, Sanjay. Uh, last opportunity. If not, we shall let the coaches go off into their day. None? Okay. All right. Thank you very much, Coach Coley and Coach Coach Fulong. Um, We'll send off the recordings shortly. Thank you very much again, gentlemen, for joining us. Thank you. All right. Good. Absolutely. David, take care. You too, Andrew. Yeah. All right. Okay.